reason why we're here. We're here because a call has been made. The alarm has been sounded. A friend of the family is in trouble. Has been in trouble for several years. And those friends are the children and the employees of the Reno Independent School District. Don't know me. My name is Daniel Danny De La Rosa. Uh, I work at the juvenile department for the past 18 years. I'm the Victims Assistance Coordinator. This past February, me and my wife decided that it was time for a change, for a positive change. It needs to happen now there at the LISD board. Uh, the board members have lost the concept of why they've been elected. They lost the concept that it's because of them. Them, that we need to go back and say, this is the purpose that the people have elected us. There's too many personal agendas. There's a lot of bickering. The people are tired of that. And it comes down to administrators, to teachers, to paraprofessionals, and even it even hurts the school. Some of the programs that I want to implement is have licensed chemical dependency counselors within middle schools and high schools. I think that will make a difference in for teachers uh, getting getting ready the kids to to have a better education. Okay, so that's one. The other one is having gang intervention specialists. Okay, so there's been a lot of problems, a lot of violence within the school system right now. We're talking middle schools, high schools, and even elementary. So we need this type of people in there to go in and see what's going on concerning the gangs, concerning violence. In, in that way, we can get together with the licensed chemical dependency counselors and see if, if, if it's also drug related. Yeah. So having those two type of people in there, I think it will be much safer for the students, for the teachers, and for them to get a better education. And concerning the, the dropout rate, we need to have a, a, a tracking system in, in tracking students that drop out to see where they are, to see if they got the GED. If not, bring them back and, and, and get them started back in the right way, taking the right courses, uh, so we can alleviate the drug rate. Drug rate. Right now it's about 51%. That's too high. So we need to bring it down. So right now those are the three uh, uh, points that I want to target.